we're live. But is it real? Hi, world. Wait, 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 no, it's gonna ask you. I'm here with. Uh, look, I'm gonna push okay, this button. Okay. Choose someone to go I'm, live I've, with. I've opened the application on my phone. Cut. I, I tried this this morning, but this I spelled, fucking bitch doesn't even know her spelled, friend's name. I spelled your name wrong. That's right. That's right. Underscore. 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 Are you connected to Wi-Fi? Take Wi-Fi off. I'm not connected to Wi-Fi. My, auto, my phone automatically connects to Wi-Fi. But regardless. there's no Wi-Fi here. But look, oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Why wouldn't it? It won't. It won't pick you up. Hold on. Hold Maybe on. you blocked me. Yeah, Do you follow me on Instagram? This, you're right there, live, <laughs> right there. Okay, watch my live stream and see what happens. Okay. Shit. Oh, maybe you have to be watching. Maybe that's what it is. Oh, there you are. Unable to join. Why are you unable to join? Is it because you're watching me? Hi, world. It's Courtney Act and Katia here. And, uh... I don't know how to do it. Oh, it must be... Oh, here, here. Yeah. You have to be watching, that's why. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay, no, okay. No. Oh, we're double fisting Instagram! Oh, we're, we're double screen? We're double... It's connecting. Oh! Oh, okay, no, no, we have to get away from each other. It's like the radio when you're on the... Oh. Is it? We can't be close? Can we? Yes. Is this gonna work or is it gonna like pick Are up a guys... feedback loop? Oh, they're gonna exp- oh, they're gonna have audio clips. Yeah, it's. Uh... Oh, this is really antisocial. Let like me turn that. around. Look there, you all. Hi, yeah. hi, friends. Don't turn around. I don't wanna see my heart break. No, no, no. We're documenting our first fight. Are we gonna go on opposite fight. sides of the street? I'm on the funny fight. side of the street. We're fighting. We're, We're here to. I can't hear you. Oh, what if I put my headphones in? Then we can be near each other. No. Yeah. I've got headphones in now. <laughs> no. Maybe you can keep your headphones in. I'll have them on. Yeah. Don't, Don't turn around. around. So, so this is a joint. joint. So I have a joint. <laughs> <laughs> do you have headphones? You should put your headphones in too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Otherwise, it's like. Let, Let them be the judge. judge. Do you want? Do you want Kathy to put headphones in? Oh wow! I can hear a handbag rustling. Oh, that really quite. Oh, I see the echo. So, uh, the reason we brought you all here today is to talk about um, your sexual health. <laughs> Yes, yes, yours, yours Martha, Martha, and, and yours Stacy, Stacy yeah. and yours Catherine, and, and yours Leslie. Leslie. If you're sexually active, this is more relevant than if you're not. Oh, guess, guess what? what? If, if, you're, if you're not sexually active, go take a nap. Aw. Or then for the future when you might be sexually active. Boom. Because you can only live in the moment so long before it becomes the future. you confused because you can hear the echo. It's so, so bizarre. Ah! Ah! I feel like we're in a stadium. Have you ever performed in, a, in like a really big space where no. it like echoes back? No, I have not. Thank, Thank you very much. much. <laughs> My career has not yet reached that part of success. Um, so, so what did you get? I got, let me talk, like a shirt? We went to the LGBT uh, Center in yeah. West Hollywood. In sunny West, West Hollywood, Hollywood, California, Los Angeles. And I had a, I have it too, but I have a thing on, you just have to trust me. And then I got my butthole swabbed, that I swabbed myself. Yes. In, in the bathroom, privacy of the old bathroom. I was thinking about live streaming my butt. I still have Rabina. I still have Rabina. Um, and then, uh... We peed in a cup. in a cup. I brought, I brought my own pets from home. In a jug. <laughs> That's not true. No. I was worried because I peed earlier. I was worried that I wasn't going to have any urine left. But then I had two Arnold Palmas. It's, it's always a piss party if I was. <laughs> I could always Everyone's run the screen down. Yeah. Um, and then you go and sit in the chair and the lovely lady, old oh man. We, we watched, watched the math with Cameron Diaz. Yeah. Watched the math. Smoldering electricity of a paper bag. Last time I was at the LGBT Center in West Hollywood, I walked in and they were literally playing my YouTube video about my HIV scare. Awkward. <laughs> Like, Hi guys, yeah. it's me. Yeah, yeah. Hold the applause, hold the yeah. applause, hold the applause. Uh, then you sit in the chair and the lady puts uh, the needle in your arm and draws your blood. Yeah. And she swabs your throat like this. Say, uh, uh, she gets all around that uvula. She does. Really up in your uvula. Try tongue popping after a throat swab. Can't do it. Just kidding, you can. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then and you sit in a chair and you wait outside for a couple of minutes. Pick up a lovely program playing on the TV. You talk to a person. I got stressed out that I was going to be in the waiting room. I don't like to wait. I, I'm very, I can't sit still. And so I watched, that was gripping. Okay, Great. Turn our volume down. Oh. And we can't hear us. We'll just hear ourselves oh in God. real life. Can you guys still hear us? Hello? You can still hear us, right? Send in a mini cara vagabunda. 
Vagabundo. What is Vagabundo? We went on a friend date to get tested. How cute. That is cute. Yeah. We both happen to be very cute people. Friends who test together. Don't, don't get, get uh, fucked together. Because this is going to make you sick. Amen. Hello. Um, oh, yeah. And the man or the woman asks you about your sexual health. Asks you about your sexual health. I love health to be partner. grilled in a questionnaire form. Yeah. I, I, but that because I have no secrets. So many people feel stressed out about that. They do. The staff at the LGBT, uh, LGBT Center. Super helpful. Super professional. Cutting edge of uh, moral ethics and all that stuff. Yeah, the in intersection terms. of morality and comfortability. Comfort. Yeah. Comfortability People are very comfortable talking to them. Comfortability. Super comfortable. They put you at ease. And they're not stiff, though. They're not like, you know how sometimes people can be very cautious and stiff? They're very relaxed. Yeah, it's just fabulous. Yeah. People of all different people, colors, trans people, lovely, lovely, lovely. Most, uh, you know, sexual health organizations for the queer community, I, I've been to around the Cutting world. edge, just bitch. Lovely. Cutting edge. Cutting edge. In terms of their behavior and approach towards medicine and sexuality. Yeah. It's not, it's not sterile like going to your family doctor. Or like, like yeah. And free. Free, it's a free service. Bitch. So if you're, if you're sexually active and you're... But you donate to them, so talk yeah. about that. Oh, yeah. I have, uh, I have three monthly donations, one to the LGBT Center, one to the ACLU, and one to Planned Parenthood. So like Those are three great organizations. Yeah, I mean, uh, not perfect, but I mean, no organization much. perfect. But, uh, yeah. yeah. But if, you, if you can afford to, because, you know, the testing is free, but uh, there's a sign on the door that says each one costs $182. Yeah. So Does it ever see federal funding? Was uh, funny? Uh, I don't know, but you know what I did? I set up my health insurance, having the LGBT center as my PCP, so every time I go to the doctor, my insurance pays their costs. That's incredible. Yeah. Two birds, one stone. Would you say, speaking of two birds, have you listened to Tristan Mattel's album? Oh, <laughs> Mama, don't make me put on the dress again. Yeah. Mama, don't make me get the needle again. Oh, uh, no, not job. that. No, the, the blood drawing needle. Look at the sunset. Ah, there's a the sun. Sunset of the Santa Monica yeah. Boulevard. Sounds like a Lana Del Rey song, does it not? It's a. We've reached the sunset of our life. Buddy, Bill, Buck. Went to croon for a moment, Courtney. <laughs> Let's turn. Um, someone left my cake out in the rain. Well, I don't think I can take it, because it took so long to bake it. And I'll, I'll never, never have, have that recipe again. You know what, Mary? You know what the recipe is? It's on the back of the box. Yeah, You're not look looking hard enough. Donna, just take a look. Just take a look. Just take a look. It's on the back of the it's box. It's in a book. What is she talking about? <laughs> really? What, what is this magical cake recipe that you don't have? Oh, I'm done. Oh, she left. Now I'm all alone. Great camera. Great lighting. Yeah, nice lighting. I haven't taken a so shower useful. today. All a lie. All right. Well, look at Dolly. It's over. Fat fat test. There's fat Dolly. Fat fat and it, it's really, it's not going to get any better yeah. than that. So this Working is actually good. Working eight to four. But we do want to tell you that if you're anywhere in the world, you can look up your local uh, LGBT organization, queer organization. Go out and get tested every three months if you're sexually active. Yeah. If you're a slut, Mary, there ain't nothing wrong with being a slut. But guess what? Slut's going to be a little bit responsible. Otherwise, she's a skank. And do you know what? People who know about their sexual health are a less likely to uh, get STIs and are less likely to pass them on. Wait a minute. I think I just came up with something that probably somebody I'm sure has talked about. The difference between a slut and a skank, a skank doesn't get tested, but there's no moral, so that's when morals and ethics become involved. Because the skank doesn't take care of herself, whereas a slut, she fucks around, but she's aware. She's aware, she takes she's care aware. of herself, and she has compassion for she the takes, people she's fucking. She takes care of herself and others. Because it goes from slut to skank to skunk, and mm. you don't want to get sprayed by a skunk. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever? You've been sprayed by a skunk? Did you have to bathe in tomato juice? No, no. It was just like the p tiny part of my leg in a shoe. Oh. So it was not Did you just throw away the shoe? Oh, absolutely. Does it I smell forever? Oh, it, it like penetrates. Cactus? No, it feels like it penetrates your epidermis. Oh. It is so... What does it smell like? It smells like skunk, bitch. I, I mean, what skunk like, smells like? We skunk. don't have skunks in Australia. Oh, they we have rotten. Possums. possums. If the possum pisses on you, we had a little sugar glider possum. Its name was Scratchy, and if it pissed... Oh! Oh like yeah. Cat piss. Oh, it's it is um concentrated. Ooh. It is poisonous. And the, and the skunks, um, but they look so beautiful. Oh, you black, like pet pure them. black and white. But, um, they look like cats, like in gray. And they're like what are they? What are they? They're not rodents. Feline, are they? They're rodents. rodents. Yeah, yeah. They're like an opossum, I think. I think so.